Hey guys, this is David Wood. This is the final assignment of uh, the Coursera audio production course, Assignment 6. And um, I'm going to give an overview of uh, the amplitude envelope for um, Native Instruments Massive Synthesizer. And uh, I'll sort of demonstrate um, how to create uh, some envelope configurations, including switch, percussive, damped percussive, sustaining, and quirk. Let's get started. So this is Native Instruments Massive Synthesizer, and uh, there's an awful lot to it, and I'm only scratching the surface here, but uh, I'll explain uh, the bits that I can and the bits that apply to this particular video. So what we have here, what we're seeing is, uh, this is the amplitude envelope settings here. Uh, this is the amp over here, and the way you get uh, this particular envelope to affect the amp is by picking up this uh, drag cursor icon here and dragging it over to the little box. So that's already been done as you can see but this is uh, basically the idea. Now uh, here are the settings um, for the amplitude envelope. You've got a delay which uh, all it does is, is uh, creates a little um, pause before the note you play actually starts. So for example right now there's no delay. If I hit the note right now it comes in right away. Uh, if I was to turn up the delay, I hit the note right now. Make it even longer here. I hit the note night now. And you heard there was a slight delay there. Um, attack is uh, something we learned about in the course. It is how soon the note comes up to full volume after you press the key. So we can uh, change, extend the length of time or shorten it. Oops, it got it a bit too long there, I couldn't even hear it. So with it a bit longer, I'm going to press the key now. And there's a bit of a swell going on. Level is something that wasn't really in the chorus, but it's essentially just the level of that uh, first initial transient from the attack. So if I reduce it, you can see it goes down to here. It's just basically to affect that initial transient. Decay we uh, did talk about. That is uh, after the initial transient how the note uh, starts to decay. That's the amount of, uh, amount of time that it decays for. And level is what uh, is the name that uh, Massive, use for, uh, Massive uses for sustain. It's a little confusing since level is over here as well. So level is a sustain. If I increase it, you can see sustain goes all the way up and down. So that's level. I'm going to skip these controls here, S loop, morph, level, because honestly, uh, I'm not really sure what they do. And it, it is beyond the uh, scope of, uh, of this video and, and the lesson we just had. And finally, there's release, which of course is this final curve at the end here. So once you let go of the note, uh, uh, you know, how it fades away. See, there's almost no release there. If I turn it up, now there is quite a bit. I'm not even holding the keyboard down right now. Let's get rid of that. And that's an overview of the amplitude envelope for Native Instruments Massive. Now let's try some um, some envelope types. Okay, so to start, we're going to create a switch envelope. And uh, here are the default settings in the Massive Synthesizer. That's what it sounds like. And uh, so the settings we need for the switch are we need to set attack to zero. There we go. Decay doesn't really matter but uh, we'll turn it down here to something ne negligible. Sustain needs to be at 100%. So we'll turn it up there and release goes down to zero. And let's see what a switch sounds like. And I'm basically just holding down and letting go of the note and it uh, perfectly matches the on and off uh, sound you hear. There you go. So next up is percussive sound. So for percussive sound, basically what you want is when you hit the note, 
uh, you hear like a, a quick shot of the note and even if you hold it down there's it's still the same you just hear that quick shot so for that we need to turn the attack down to zero which it already is from previously decay should be between 10 and 80 percent so we'll move it around here somewhere sustain should be zero that's level and massive and release should be zero and let's see what that sounds like it's not very loud but it's there and even if I hold it down it still sounds like a tap here's a quick hit and a tap holding down same sound so that brings us to a dampened percussive sound so for a dampened percussive sound you want to increase the decay time a little bit and add a little bit of release time so the release uh, phase will start when you release the key of the note you're playing uh, so the added release time will cause the note to fade away a little more naturally like letting go of a piano key and this is a damped percussive sound let's hear what it sounds like here's a quick tap and here is what it sounds like if I hold down the key fades away uh, n not uh, you know relatively quickly but uh, sounds sort of natural like a keyboard or piano and that's a damp percussive sound so here's an example of a sustaining envelope for uh, blowing instruments or bowing instruments um, so what we want to do here is uh, what we have done is set the attack to a uh, small you can set it between 0 and 10 percent here it's almost zero uh, decay also between 0 and 10 percent sustain uh, between 50 and 90 percent and release also very small 0 to 10 percent so this should sort of sound like a burst of air um, settling into a sustaining state also same thing for a bowed instrument like a violin let's hear it sounds a lot like a switch really but uh, it's hard to detect but the attack is a little stronger than the sustain if I bring down the level you really see what I mean here there you go so that's the sustaining envelope so this is an example of the quirk envelope where if you hold the key down the note stops quickly but if you let go of the key quickly the note lasts this is because uh, well first we'll do the settings and uh, I'll try and explain it so for this you need the attack set to zero decay between uh, 10 and 30 percent uh, sustain down to zero which is level again in uh, massive and release between 50 and 100 percent so what's happening is uh, when you hit the note and hold it down it allows it com to completely decay and then um, you know when the release starts it's already decayed and you hear nothing uh, but if you let go of the note quickly up here this is the point where the release starts and the release takes over from this level and slowly gets uh, rid of the note so let's just see what it sounds like. Here I'm going to hold the note down. Sounds very quick. And here's what it sounds like if I just tap the note quickly. It should extend for an unexpected amount of time. There you go. And that's the quirk envelope. So that's it. Um, that was a tough assignment because um, uh, synths are something really unfamiliar to me and uh, as mentioned uh, I barely scratched the surface of what this thing can do. Uh, it was really all I could do to just get that working. Um, and uh, so there's a lot more to, to go into there and I'm not even entirely sure what you'd use all of those settings for in a musical context. Like uh, Switch uh, is very much like a, you know, a synthesizer uh, uh, sound, you know, like uh, 1980s keyboard uh, sounds. Uh, percussive, obviously you could use that to maybe make some drum sounds. Uh, damped percussive would be sort of uh, good for piano-like sounds. Sustaining is good for, um, as mentioned, violins and wind instruments. And the quirk sound, who knows? I mean, uh, I guess uh, I'm not sure what musical context you'd use that in, but uh, you could probably just experiment and make psychedelic sounds or something. So anyway, that was uh, that was a tough one, and uh, hopefully it was a bit helpful. And um, 
you know the manual for massa did did help a little bit if if you're looking at using it uh, um, it is a bit helpful to sort of get started on it but there's uh, really a lot there to learn so i hope you enjoyed it and um, thanks for listening and um, i think that's it cheers bye